Hey guys, Max Gwyn here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Flora Sky. Uh, so last episode, we kind of we kind of just had a bit of a conundrum because we had two different ways that we could go, uh, and we decided to just wait and see which way we would go next time. So since we're already here uh, in this area, I guess we'll probably just go through Route G first. Uh, we did go, I believe, through uh, the forest area. We have some honey, so we probably could go back through to that forest because we need to get over there and put some honey on that tree, I think. I'm not really too sure, but I know we, I don't, I'm pretty sure we don't have cut right now, so... Until we get cut, I'm pretty sure there's not very much we can do. Um, we have Growlithe here. We also have um, Luxio and Staravia and then Piplup. And of course we have the Patrat who is just our um, HM slave here. So not really a member of the team. But yeah, we don't have cut. We do have Rock Smash, but we don't have cut. So I'm thinking that I want to go this way. I mean, we might as well see which way this this way takes us. We could have already done this, if I'm being honest. It's been a couple weeks, maybe, since I played this game uh, last, so I don't really remember if we went through this route or not. I know that the other route led down to <clears throat> another area. The route where we, um, I'm blanking, but the route where we went into the forest and we saw that tree that we needed to cut down to be able to put some stuff on it, like the uh, the honey, we were able to go that way, but we, there was another route this way, so I figured we might as well try each one, and it looks like we're probably going to have to go back that way, because... This way doesn't seem to lead anywhere, so I guess we will have to go back towards the other route. I was thinking that we needed to stay here. Uh, I, I did do that stuff on screen though, right? I know we had to get some mail and give it to someone and they were going to give us something. I think we did get that. Yeah, honey will help you catch some rare Pokemon. So apparently we were supposed to go this way to get the honey, but then we're supposed to go back to that forest area. So let's take a trip back over there, I guess. I'll go ahead and heal up real quick, uh, and then we'll go back to that other area, which I'm totally blanking as to where it is now. So I'm probably going to have to do a bit of backtracking. Uh, but we'll just, we'll just see. We'll see. I know this is probably not what you expected whenever we were going to be going through here today. That I would be lost and not know where to go, but doing a let's play of the game is actually good. Uh, because this is very helpful for <clears throat> others who are playing the game as well. Or if you're playing along with me or just whatever. So we still can't go through this area. Uh, because Team Magma is still blocking it. So the only other option we can go is down from our hometown. Which would be down this way. <clears throat> so we're going to go through Route D. Which we've already pretty much explored Route D quite well. Um, so we pretty much know where to go. It's that Mareep. Which I really... I'd like to have a Mareep. I do like Flaffy and um, Ampharos, but we have Luxio, so we're gonna have a Luxray, and I figured since this was a Gen 4 heavy game, in a Gen 3 game, <laughs> that we might as well go ahead and use Luxio uh, instead. So, here in the forest area, the only thing that I know that we can do is slather some honey on that tree. So, I guess that's what we need to do. 
while we avoid the multitudes of bug type Pokemon. I'm actually glad that we went ahead and fought all the trainers though, uh, so we can just get through here faster because I think we did go past the route. So we do know that we're able to go past the route. Oh yeah, and there's the tree, but unfortunately we can't um, go use the, the honey tree yet because we need cut. That's probably why we need to go down this way first to get to this next area so that we can get to the next gym and we can get ourselves a, uh, a badge. And I believe we need headbutt for this tree here. It looks like you'd have Pokemon in it, but we can't get to it yet. But this is technically the right way to go. <clears throat> Route D here, where we had went last time. So let us continue on through Route D. But yeah, like I was saying, I like to do things this way. So I'm kind of getting everything done at once and done the right way and the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, because if people are playing along or following, then it'll be good <laughs> for them to see this stuff as well. The blip is falling behind a little bit, so we do probably need to go ahead and work on Piplup a bit. We should be out of the area where the bugs should be, so Growlithe was useful in the forest, but now we probably need to start using Piplup a bit more. As we are in the Pretty Petal, pretty petal Flower Shop, we haven't went in here I don't think. Uh, spreading flowers all over the world. But she's probably just going to give me berries, which I'll take berries. I'll take plenty of berries. Really? You're not going to give me any berries? Okay. Well, somebody in here gives me something. Yes, the well repel. I will take that, even though I'm probably not going to use it for anything. But I will go ahead and take the well repel. And you are the one, I believe, that gives me berries. Yes, thank you for the orange berry. Okay, now we can continue on to this new area. So, at least I know we're going the right direction. And so we can't use cut right now. We pretty much can't do anything. You can have two on two battles if you're... Yep, I know about the two on two battles. I just had one. Okay, so now we should be ready to enter... Plate Pixed City. And, of course, this looks like the right place. All right. Help, are you a trainer? Our center is being disturbed by Team Magma. My gym leader isn't here, and I need your help to throw them out. Uh, okay. Sure. Let me look around the city first, but yeah, sure. I'm assuming we're going to get a bunch of things in this town because it looks to be very large so let's see what everybody's got <clears throat> I could really use a firestone because I will not be able to evolve my Growlithe unless I have a firestone rollout uh rollout seems a bit uh nah I'm not gonna teach you rollout I'm not really worried about it because we're not doing a Nuzlocke, but still, you know, rollout? Nah. If you really want, I'm willing to trade it to you. I'll trade you my Pineco for a Growlithe. Uh, no. I'll keep my Growlithe, and it looks like you have an Azuril here, not even a Pineco anyway. Weird. Why would you want to make that trade? I'm sorry, but I don't want a Pineco for my Growlithe. I'll keep my Growlithe, thank you very much. <clears throat> Oh, here's the Name Raider's house. Okay, well, we won't be using the Name Raider, but we will search his apartment building. Because there could be someone with some items, you never know. I like to look around everywhere, just so I can make sure that nobody wants to give me anything. Just making sure. This seems to be the game's version of Lily Cove City, possibly. I think Lily Cove was really the biggest city in um, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. Alright, so first thing I want to do, of course, is look around here. Found a timer ball. 
I'm gonna check if I can go in the buildings from behind because I know sometimes they like to do that. Probably not, but I just want to check. Uh, <clears throat> okay, these guys are talking about evolution. Nice. And the gym leader isn't here, so we will unfortunately not be able to take on the gym leader right now. And it looks like Team Magma is up around these buildings. Team Magmas, it will be happier place for Pokemon too. Uh, the Pokemon Trainer School. If I go to the school, will I be able to catch rare Pokemon easily? Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a gander, a little guess here, and say no, you won't. And I believe this guy here will give me the Quick Claw. He does in Pokemon uh, Ru Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald as well, so I'll take the Quick Claw. Thank you. I'm pretty sure no one else in here will give me anything. <clears throat> Because this is an exact replica of the Pokemon Trainer School in, um... Where's, what's that sound? Rustboro City, I think? Maybe? Where Roxanne's gym is? The very first city? This could be a remake of that one, actually. Now that I think about it. Ooh, we have a secret path down this way as well. So let's see if there's some hidden items around here. There is. There's a full heal just hiding out there. I'll take that full heal. There is a route that we can go to that way. I'm not going to go that way just yet. <clears throat> I think that's where we need to go next. Where that Team Magma Grunt is. I'm not going to go there either. There's another route that we can go that way. And there's a lot of places to explore in this uh, little town area. Here is the Pokemon Mart. So we need to get, actually we need to get some Great Balls. Because we, uh, we haven't been able to get any yet. So I'm going to get some of those. I think five will be okay. Do I have anything I want to sell? I sell this X attack. I have three pearls I can sell. Get a big chunk of change for those. Uh, we're not going to sell the honey because I have a feeling we need to use it on that tree. I will sell bulk up and protect though because why not? I mean, I'm never going to use them. And then we can buy ourselves some potions. And potions with our newly acquired cash. And I think, should we get some more Pokeballs? No, we're fine on Pokeballs. I don't know what my team's actually going to be right now. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I'm kind of thinking they'll just I'll just pick one whenever I get to it. Basically, if I see one that I want, I'll grab it. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, so apparently there are ghost type Pokemon in here. Weird. Um, not really wanting a ghastly. Uh, but I will look around in this building, I guess. Maybe there's something in here other than Ghastly's? Maybe not. Weird. Why do they have just have this little grave area with Ghastly's and Haunters in it? And there's nothing else in here? I feel like this will be something that will happen later on. Maybe we'll have to come back here or something. I don't know. Or maybe there will be a Pokemon here later. This is like an exact replica. Just of the other side of the building pretty much. And still there is nothing in here. So what is the point of me coming in here? This is the one thing that I don't like though. I like going and exploring around the whole entire place. But I don't like... Oh great, now I can't escape. But I don't like having to um, go into these buildings and there be nothing in them whatsoever and they're of no use. Because if this is a, for no use for the rest of the game, that's kind of pointless to put that in there. I mean, I guess it's cool if you want to be able to catch some ghost type Pokemon. But other than that, there's really no point to it. So not really sure why you would put it there. 
Alright, so let's heal up because we did get paralyzed with Piplup. And I guess we'll continue searching around the town. I know where I'm supposed to go. There's the gym. But I think he had said that the gym leader isn't there. Yeah, the gym leader isn't in the gym right now. So we could take out the gym trainers. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wait. Uh, considering we're supposed to be going around this whole city. And we're supposed to be stopping Team Magma first. So that seems to be the top priority. I have one more building here that I need to go in. And I was going to say you look kind of important, but I guess not. Oh man, lady, I know what you're talking about way, way more now <laughs> than I did before. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I'll take that netball. This is why you talk to everyone. Because then you might get yourself something. But I think that's probably going to be about all we're going to get in this area. Never hurts to check every floor, though. Ooh, resistant stone. Ooh, that would be nice, though. If we could get a fire stone, then we would be able to evolve our Growlithe. So I definitely want to check that out. I think President Stone would be in this building, though, that Team Magma's taken over. So let's just go in and see what we got here. Doesn't look to be anyone in here right now, I guess because Team Magma is here. So I think we'll have to start going in and just taking on Team Magma <clears throat> and seeing where where we're going and what we're doing. I would go and check out the routes, but then I don't really think I should. Oh, that little Magma spray is so cute. This is going to be really good for um, Piplup to get some experience. Although these guys are level 17. It's actually really strong. We should probably get a little bit more training in. I mean, Growlithe is level 16 and it's our highest level and we're still not higher than these grunts. Like, really? Wonder what level that means that the gym leader is going to be. Very interesting. I normally don't do too many grinding sessions and things in uh, these types of... Um, Let's plays because it's not a Nuzlocke, so there really isn't a point for me to do that. Because if we do end up dying or failing or whatever or fainting, then we can just go back and try again. And you get experience for, you know, defeating them and dying again and again and again. Uh, but Piplup is evolving! Yay, finally! Piplup is evolving into... I thought they didn't evolve until level 17, but we're evolving level 16 into Prenplup. I do like Prenplup. And we want to learn Metal Claw. Yes, of course you can learn Metal Claw. We'll get rid of Pound for that. Because Metal Claw will probably come in more handy. Alright, so we got Prenplup here. And you are level 16, so let's switch you with Staravia. And probably, yeah, Growlithe as well. We need to give the Quick Claw to someone. So who has the slowest speed? Looks like Growlithe does, but Growlithe is already holding something, so I think we will give it to Shinx. Or Alexio. Because we don't really have anything to give you right now, so we'll give you that. <clears throat> it is Growlithe, right? Yeah, Primplup is holding something too, but Growlithe is also holding something, so we'll just give that to she or Luxio. And it looks like we have possibly one more grunt here before we head up to the main floor. I will say though, Staravia is pretty much a beast. So I think Star Raptor is going to be pretty amazing to have on the team. Oh yeah, I do want to ask this because I know some people probably will think this is pretty annoying. Um, but 
does it bother you guys that I skip through? Um, that I skip through these battles? I don't know if it does or not. Um, but to me, these battles just aren't very important. So I just kind of will skip through these battles. Um, but it just, I was wondering if that is something that bothers people. Because if it is, then I can gladly go ahead and not do that. Or at least try to remember not to do that. Um, but I just wanted to ask, just to be sure, because some people will be okay with it, others will not be okay with it, so it's just, I guess it's just a matter of opinion. Alright, I'm going to use this Ornberry, just to get us up to full here, and let's see who is going to battle me next. I don't think we're going to take on anyone here, but just in case, I want to make sure everyone's up in full. <clears throat> There's Mr. Stone. Tell me where Groudon is now. I said I don't know. You should leave here. Who are you? You beat many of us, but I doubt you can beat Rory and Hank. Uh, if I beat you guys, will Team Magma leave here? Yes. I'll beat you. Wow, really? What names? Roy and Hank. And weird talking? That's weird. I've never known May to talk in the games. But we have dialogue in the games, so this is really weird. I'm gonna have to get used to this. Alright, so he leads with a coughing level 17. Who's going to poison gas me, of course. And you know what? That's, that's kind of not like Maxi. I'm just gonna say it. That's not like Maxi. I don't think Maxi would be caught dead just saying Hank and Roy are going to destroy you and just not take care of something himself. The evil genius as he is, it just seems like he would want to do it himself. But okay, sure. And you're going to use a potion. All right. And you used explosion. Of course you did. Okay. Weird. Well, I guess Staravia is not going to get any experience for these battles. Good to know. <clears throat> but Growlithe, I think, can take care of things. Although, this Kadabra is level 18. These guys are just jumping way up in levels. How are they so high level? Like, it literally took us probably one... Well, I'm not going to say one episode, but... It was pretty much one episode where everybody got up to like level 16 or so and the trainers had pretty much like level 12s, 10s and now we're here and unfortunately they're going up to level 18 now so we should be fighting probably around level 20s for the gym and that just seems kind of ridiculous. That's the one thing that I'm really confused at with these uh with these ROM hacks is that they don't really know how to level do the level gaps very well. Oh, we have Magma Admin Hank. The Magma Admin. So you're a little bit tougher, it looks like. So uh, you're probably going to have some stronger Pokemon. I think we can still take you out, but still. I just want to... Uh, Go ahead and reiterate here that the Magma Admin Hank seems to be the stronger of the two. Between him and, uh, what is it, Rory was the other one? What weird names for grunts. I mean, at least they do have names, though. Normally the grunts don't have names, they're just grunts. Alright, we have a Houndour next. You know, I think I'm just going to send out Primpluff. Primplup. Because Houndour can totally be taken out easily with... Some water type moves and you know what it looks to me like all these pokemon that they're gonna have are gonna be uh, weak to water anyway so might as well go ahead and do it and you know what i'm actually glad that we picked Prinplup as our starter now i was kind of thinking about it and i was like you know what i always pick piplup as a starter i never pick like chimchar or turtwig and if i do pick a different one it's usually always turtwig but can you imagine going through this right now with Turtwig? I mean, it would be terrible. Because Turtwig is a grass type, so all these fire types would just be 
terrible to have to go through and deal with. <clears throat> so, I'm definitely, I'm definitely glad that I picked Piplup. Although it's probably the popular choice. I don't really care. I like Piplup. And besides, so far, how many water type Pokemon have we run into? I'm pretty sure zero is the answer. So, definitely glad that I picked um, Piplup. Alright, so a level 18 Watchhog. Pretty scary, not gonna lie. Watchhog can be pretty scary. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it. It is just a Watchhog. This is probably kind of like the equivalent equivalent of taking on, uh, what was her name? I can't think of her name. Nora, maybe? Or... Ugh. I'm really not gonna remember. But the fifth, the fifth, uh, fifth generation gym leader... Like the second gym leader, maybe? In Pokemon Black? Either Pokemon Black or Pokemon Black 2. I know you take take on different gym leaders for Black and Black 2, but the one that had the normal types, this is who that person reminds me of with the Watchhog. Because her ace, I believe, was a Watchhog. I like how they have the Grunt Hank when it looks like that hey, they have a female Grunt Sprite, but I guess it's a male. I don't know. I can't really tell. Ugh. You won't be lucky next time. And he just dips out. Alright. Well, Team Magma left. Thanks so much. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Sure. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Pokemon Research Center. Team Magma came here a few hours ago and they are seeking Groudon, the legendary Pokemon. And you sent them away. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. For your help, I have a gift for you. Okay, we get a B ticket, whatever that is. Uh, by the way, you visited here, so I'd also want to give you this device. Ah, yes, Pokenav. Finally, we're going to have a map. That device. It's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokemon Nav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It is a map of the Hoenn region. You can use it to check a location you want easily. Remember, Team Magma and Aqua are sinister criminals, I believe. I have been making trouble far and wide. And I think it would be best if you rested up before you go on your way. Or they have been? I don't know. It said they, right? I? They? Well then, May, go with caution and, and care. Uh, yeah, you're um, a stone guy, right? Why don't you give me... Why don't you give me a stone? I need stones. I need a fire stone. What's this? Hello? Welcome to the ball shop. However, you can't buy Pokeballs now. Aw. Okay, fine. I wish you would just say stones instead because I would love to buy a stone from you. Anybody got stones? Anybody got stones? I guess not. I guess nobody has any stones for me. Oh well. Oh yeah, sure, I'll take it. I'll take the quiz. A Pokemon lives underground. It uses its sharp claws to carve the roots of trees and absorb moisture and nutrients. This Pokemon can't withstand bright sunlight, so it avoids it. And that is... I'd say Ninkata. That's correct. Next question, does Shedinja always have 1 HP? Yes. Yes, correct. It is a particular Pokemon. This bizarre Pokemon is entirely immobile. It doesn't even breathe. Here's my award. Take this for your excellent answers. Oh, I got an EXP share. Okay. Cool. I will definitely use that if we do happen to catch a, another Pokemon because it'll probably be a lot weaker than our main team. Uh, other than that, I don't think I'll be using the EXP share. Oh wow, a Pokenap. It came about at the result of our pres president's desire to learn about the feelings in Pokemon. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't need you to describe all the features. Alright, so I guess this is going to be it for... Oh, uh, well, we did get a stone. Unfortunately, it is just an Everstone, and uh, we don't need to use an Everstone. Because I like to let my Pokemon evolve. But it looks like that's the only stone we are going to be getting. I guess it's alright. Maybe we'll eventually find a Firestone around here somewhere. 
but I think that's that's probably gonna be it for that area. Uh, oh, hello. I've been developing an added feature for the Pokemon, Pokenav, and it turned out great. May, may I see that Pokenav, the one our president gave you? There you go, May. I added a new feature named Match Call to your Pokenav. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people you have been who have been registered in your Pokenav. Uh, our president, Stone, should be registered in your Pokenav. Test it out. Please give our president a call. Oh, okay. So this is the the feature that they have you they have placed in. Um, Devin was digging the rest of tunnel, but we shut down the operation to protect the Pokemon in the area. It's a no-brainer, really. It's more important to let Pokemon live in peace than worry about our own convenience. This is just a tutorial they set up so everybody learns um, how to use the Pokenav. Like we don't already know how to use the Pokenav. Uh, but that, I think, is going to do it for this episode. I think we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Um, there's like three different ways that we can go. So now that we have the Pokenav, we can kind of look around a bit, but it seems we can go this way. Uh, and we will be in Surrent's Town, and Mystic Town is right there, which we might want to go this way first, because we know Mystic Town, we've been there. And this just leads into a big round circle, which goes back to Peel City. Uh, and then we can also go this way, which leads to the Pokemon League, so I'm guessing we're not going to be able to go that way just yet. And our main goal will be to go down. So I think what we'll do is we'll go this way next time, and then after that, we will go down this way. We'll, of course, search every route first, just to see. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode here. Um, and next time, when we come back, we will head off to the different routes, and then we'll see uh, what else we can do. We'll also check the gym as well, to see if the gym leader is back. If he is, we'll probably take on the gym leader, but if not... We'll go and check on those routes. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Flora Sky.